Mercedes is going to unveil flagship electric sedan EQS with Tesla beating battery. Reports Bloomberg, Mercedes EQS will go more than 700 kilometers, that's 435 miles per single charge, and the car maker will build eight electric vehicles on three continents next year in 2022. Welcome back, dear, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And if you find this report informative, please like it and give it thumbs up and share in social media, please. So Christopher Rawald reports the details in Bloomberg saying Mercedes-Benz is about to unveil a new flagship model. It expects to boast market leading battery range following through on its pledge to compete in the luxury electric vehicle segment with top technology. That means to compete with Tesla Model S, to compete with Lucid Motors and so on. So the April 15 debut of the Mercedes EQS, the first Mercedes built on dedicated electric car underpinnings, will mark a milestone for the German brand that's been criticized for taking too long to embrace electric vehicles. Next year, Mercedes in 2022 will be making eight fully electric cars on three continents, Chief Operating Officer Markus Schaffer said in a phone interview with Bloomberg. Here is a quote. We boosted flexibility of all factories worldwide so that we can produce hybrids, fully electric cars, and combustion vehicles everywhere, depending on customer demand and individual market developments, Schaffer said to Bloomberg. Quote, it took a while for us to prepare all this, but now it's time to deliver. End of the quote. So this is really good because it looks like Mercedes was quiet, but they were retooling their factories around the world to be ready. If customer needs hybrid, they will give hybrid. If customer wants an EV, they will give an EV. If customer wants a gas car for a little while, they will do that. Because I said for a little while, because we know that many governments by the end of 2030-2035 will uh, ban gas cars in their countries. So the more than 700 kilometers of range, that's 435 miles on a single charge. Mercedes expects the EQS to achieve in lab testing is another indication German car makers will have something to say about Tesla's early domination of the electric vehicle space. So let me say again, Mercedes EQS will have 435 miles of range per single charge. And it's going to really compete with Tesla, especially Tesla's domination in the electric vehicle market. Volkswagen AG last week announced plans to become the new global sales leader no later than 2025, while BMW AG forecast battery car sales will account for roughly half of deliveries by the end of the decade. Mercedes is in the midst of a fundamental overhaul, fundamental change that will include a painful restructuring of combustion engine sites that the manufacturer depended on for a century. The revamp has culminated in parent Daimler AG's plan to spin off its truck operation this year, the most significant strategic move since the company sold off Chrysler. Here's a quote. The pace of the industry's transformation is keeping us busy, of course, but what's really key for us now is that we deliver the physical proof points of our strategy in our factories and with our products, Schaffer said. The company will flank the compact EQA and EQB with the larger EQS and EQE this year and make SUV versions of the latter two models, latter two models at its US factory in Alabama. The Battery range Mercedes has tooted for the EQS would exceed the 412 miles that Tesla estimates for the long range version of the Model S. The company provides US data on its order website, which can vary from the worldwide harmonized light vehicle test procedure used in Europe and elsewhere. Mercedes may not have a lead for long. Startup Lucid Motors has said it will sell a version of its Lucid Air sedan 
then that offers 517 uh, miles of range. And Tesla has estimated the Model S Plaid Plus, slated for late this year, will get 520 miles. In any case, the EQS represents progress. Mercedes built its initial electric vehicle, the EQC SUV, on a tweaked combustion engine platform with compromised efficiency. It offers about 280 miles of range. Schaffer said that going forward, Mercedes will be able to flexibly scale up output of any kind of vehicle. He expects a steep increase, that was a quote, steep increase this year for plug-ins and pure electric vehicles that accounted for 8% of deliveries in 2020. So in 2021, except a nice electric vehicle uh, advance from Mercedes, Mercedes will be able to meet demand if consumers embrace electric vehicles faster than expected, Schaffer said, well, because they were doing this change and restructuring of its worldwide uh, factories. The company has forecast that all uh, that half its deliveries will be plug-in hybrid and fully electric cars in 2030. The automaker also is open to sharing components or electric car underpinnings with more peers in addition to Aston Martin Lagonda Global Holdings uh, PLC if the cooperation is mutually beneficial, according to Schaffer. Mercedes deepened its ties with the British luxury car Aston Martin maker um, Aston Martin last year. Now, some of you you may ask that with all this transition to electric cars, what is the impact on electric infrastructure cost putting all the cars on the grid? What is the environmental impact of rare earth mining, processing and reclaiming and recycling? Answers are not going to come on legislative timeline. You know, it's going to be difficult because right now, as Toyota has said, and I think GM once said that right now we don't have the infrastructure to support if the entire automotive industry will immediately shift to uh, electric vehicles. Some people in forums respond like this. They say the new battery technology coming out of labs in the last two years is just amazing. And we know that Tesla has been working on the 4680 batteries and now they're going to introduce it. it there is also the solid state battery that Toyota and QuantumScape are working on. Mercedes has battery laboratories as well. So uh, the new battery technology coming out of labs in the last two years is just amazing. And like a lot of technology breakthroughs will come to market in three to five years. So we still have time to make a gradual transition to electric vehicle adoption. More power per pound at much less cost, uh, no fire risks, and the ability of these new million mile batteries to supercharge in a few minutes when on vacation, make a smogless, extreme, low-maintenance electric car a product we will want to buy over a gas version, uh, say people in forums. Some of them also say many of us will start harvesting quote-unquote free fuel off of roofs and only visit a supercharger station while we're on vacation. Indeed, you know, we should be able to harvest free fuel and free energy off of our rooms, uh, roofs as the solar uh, uh, photovoltaic panels become more efficient. A thousand miles between quick charges uh, on our giant SUVs is not unthinkable in our futures as far as the impact on the grid and mining infrastructures. We humans will adopt as we always do. Remember, fusion power will be with us in the next decade and that kind of cheap power will bring changes to mankind that will put fusion right up there with the will in historical importance. Uh, so that's one aspect, friends. There is another aspect, the cost of these nice cars, that they're very expensive. So, well, actually, here is another question for consideration. Is Tesla in danger with Mercedes, especially with Mercedes EQS coming in the market, Mercedes introducing uh, eight vehicles in three continents, and I think three vehicles, electric vehicles, are coming to the United States the, uh, uh, this year or next year. So electric vehicle market share will be growing substantially in coming years. There will be plenty of opportunity for both Mercedes and Tesla. The real challenge for Mercedes and and other legacy automakers is that they will largely be replacing their own uh, gas business, not necessarily growing overall. Meanwhile, Tesla has the luxury of focusing on its core product offering, just as uh, Tesla always has done. Now, when I was doing uh, 
research about this story some people in forums said uh, so this is yet another story about a car beating tesla or tesla killer with cars that aren't even available if you are going to play that game then put the tesla roadster on the list with 620 miles range and the model s long range with the new batteries will be over 500 miles in range i think 520 but if i were mercedes i would be scared of lucid as it will eat mercedes for lunch now other people respond to this this way now keep in mind that mercedes eqs is is already available and going to be available in august 2021 only five months from now and april 15 uh, they are already producing it and their april 15 is the debut of mercedes eqs electric vehicle um, uh, presentation now regarding roadster uh, people say which roadster the one that should be on the road since 2020 and or 2020 uh, 21 delayed until 2022 and even so if you want to spend one hundred twenty thousand dollars and can choose between porsche mercedes audi or tesla guess what people with money gonna choose if they can so they say here's a tip just look how the auto e-tron is selling since two years in europe compared to the model x or look at the back order of porsche taycan already with double shifts trying to squeeze out more yeah they're selling very successfully tesla were bought when they are the only option uh, nothing uh, tesla vehicles were bought when they were the only option nothing nearly equal was available now you can buy premium cars with dealers premium electric vehicles with dealers next to you with same or nearly same specs and or maybe a little bit better and well known build quality um, uh, I, regarding the software i don't know yet so people say trust me nobody is looking anymore behind a model s uh, people are actually looking beyond model s now that streets it's been on the streets for already nine years uh that it doesn't it no more has the wow effect wow effect 10 years is long time for a built car without any big facelift what do you think friends do you agree with these views let me know in the comment section below this is armin harayan from torquenews.com i'm going to look forward to see what mercedes envoys with eqs on april 15 um, please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle tesla mercedes ev news and uh, i'll see you soon in our next report uh, please also give us thumbs up like this video it helps to put it in front of more people have a great day god bless you everyone see you soon